In this video, I'm going to show you how to make sure your email signature images don't appear as attachments and are displayed correctly each time. So why does this happen? There are a few reasons. First, sometimes the actual image size doesn't match with the HTML display size. Basically, you've got a 500 pixel wide image and the HTML is telling it to be displayed at 50 pixels width. And some email clients don't like that and they'll just refuse to display anything at all. I'll show you how to fix that first. Then we'll take a look at why sometimes Exchange will convert a normal HTML email with all the images displayed as normal to plain text. So at the other end, they can't see all those images that were in the email that you originally sent. Then of course, in some cases, it's not that the email starts its journey as HTML. In some cases, like on your iPhone or Android device mail app, they will send as plain text. I'll show you how you can convert those emails from plain text to HTML. Then I will also show you how in some cases an email client will look for the no send tag on an image. So uh, effectively in the HTML we're going to want to add this little no send tag that for some email clients will make sure they know there's an image there and they should display it accordingly. Now there are are a number of causes for this. It might not be covered in the list up here. These are the main causes. If it's something else, you can always contact Exclaimer on exclaimer.com forward slash contact. We can help you work it out. So let's get started. First up, the image actual size and the display size don't match. So my image is not appearing in the signature. Logo's gone, the banner's gone. This isn't how I designed it to look. It's supposed to look like this. So what's going wrong? The actual image files are not the right size. I want this displayed at what, 58 pixels by 55? But the files behind these are not that size. I want to use files that are exactly the size they'll be displayed at. That's exactly, and the banner is exactly the size that it's going to appear in the signature. So instead, I want to use these correct files. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy these files and move them into the location that I'm taking these signature images from. I'll just paste and yes, I'll replace. So you could resize these images in Photoshop, maybe in Paint, in whatever image editing software you want that's going to give you the images you want. Fine. We just want them at that correct size. If the HTML is looking to display it in a different size, that's when this error occurs. So. The next time I open Outlook and I go to new email, everything's displayed. Perfect. Next, the email is plain text, not HTML. Okay, so this is the difference between an HTML email and a plain text email. So the HTML email, I can see everything. I can see the images, my banner, my logo. Perfect. If I reply, I'm going to by default reply in HTML. So I can still see the images down here underneath. They're not appearing as attachments. Great. But if I go over to format text and I click plain text, that's going to convert this email to plain text. So I'm going to lose the pictures, lose any formatted text or tables. So all of that's gone. Now I've just got text. I can't see the images. And you'll also notice that any fonts that I've set up aren't there. It's just the basic default. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm always sending these emails as HTML. In Outlook, that's not really an issue. Except in some cases, sometimes Exchange will convert that HTML email from Outlook Web to plain text. So for example, here, if I send this over here in my test account, I'm going to receive that as plain text. It's gone wrong. So what I want to do is I'm going to show you an Exchange Management Shell command to make sure that it doesn't do that. So in here in Exchange Management Shell, I'm just going to type in set remote domain, identity, default, content type, MIME HTML, and I'll run that. Okay, so that's all done. And now let's just test and make sure that went through as desired. I'll just type some information, send the test email, click send. And let's see how that looks. Okay, perfect. All right, it's arrived as intended. Maybe you are emailing from, say, the built-in client uh, for your Android device or iPhone. And you're not on Office 365, so you can't use the Outlook app. In that case, we can use this feature. 
convert plain text to HTML. So every time you email, even if you've originally composed the message in plain text, we would convert that to HTML. So you always get the nice high quality version and we can even set a particular font. So we could say, look, use Calibri in a size 11 rather than just the default, you know, Times New Roman in, you know, some slightly different size. So everything looks all strange. And now the recipient is using an email client that's looking for that no send tag. In some cases, some email clients are looking for the no send tag in the HTML of your signature. So I've got this image in here, right? What I want to do is I want to go into the source HTML and down here, I've actually typed out the image reference and in here, I'm going to add this no send equals one to that image. Now that means in some email clients that are a little bit less image friendly, it should still display that anyway. That's going to increase your chances of the variety of clients displaying your signature as you intended it. Perfect. Thanks for watching.